we're going to do student checkup word 2-2 and we're actually going to start with the last uh, student checkup and we're going to save that and continue on with our assignment. So there's several ways to do this. One way is you can open up Word and the most recent uh, Word documents you've been working with are listed on the left and you can go ahead and open your document from there. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and save it right now so that you have the 2-2 uh, file saved. So we can go ahead and hit File, Save As. We're going to go ahead and save that in the Word Chapter 2 folder, but we want to change the name to 2-2 and we'll hit Save. Okay, so now to go ahead and begin this one, we've got the document open, but now what we need to do is we need to go to back to uh, Canvas to the actual assignment page. It tells us in the book a, a link as well that we can use, but I want to go ahead and open up uh, Canvas here and it's, it has the link in there as well, right? So we can go ahead and click on this link right here and it will take us to the page that we need to copy and uh, a certain uh, paragraph, some text out of this website right here. So we're going to go down and we're actually going to find this paragraph right here starting with Hell's Canyon. Make sure I get the H, get the whole paragraph here. You can see it selects the Intro to Hell's Canyon graphic as well. So I've got it all selected. So you go ahead and just left click right before Hell's, drag it down to the boundary there and then what you can do is you can do the keyboard shortcut which is control C for copy or you can do a right click and do copy here and that'll go ahead and save that to the clipboard we're going to go back to our word document here and we're going to want to save that uh, we're actually going to write in here okay so I have my uh, show formatting turned on right so using this button you can have it turned on if you want if it makes it easier for you to see where your paragraphing and your your, your um, tab indents are and everything uh, I like it because it kind of helps me see what is in my document here so we can see right that we're tabbed here we're gonna want to put it right in between th these two paragraphs if I hit enter it's gonna remove the tabbing which I'm gonna have to go ahead and replace there by hitting tab right for that paragraph so now I can see I, I put it right in here and so I can go ahead and do control V or I can uh, which will paste it in there or I can do my right click and uh, paste so we see that as it pasted in here it it's going to it's going to have the graphic right so we are gonna we want to get rid of the graphic so go ahead and select the graphic by clicking it once and then hit delete on your keyboard right so now we got rid of that we've got the tab indent here which is good I want that in there but we can see that my text right here is not formatted the rest of the the way the rest of the of the document is so what I can do with that is there's a couple things one is I can select some of the text here I can hit this format painter right and you can see that the cursor now is a paintbrush right and so now I can select by going ahead of hells here I can click and drag all the way to the bottom of that paragraph and one, once I release my left click button the formatting is going to be updated so we can see it's not quite there so what sometimes when the formatting uh, doesn't quite stick we can do it again so I can go ahead and do format painter one more time and there we go so now we are exactly the same that new paragraph that I copied and pasted into my document is exactly the same as the rest of uh, formatted it just like the other text here uh, something you could do as well as you can go for example you can go and click on it you can see it's Arial 12 and and it's a normal right there of the styles you can select it and you can select that style as well if you want to with the with the correct um, size of font which is 12 Arial and and do that as well so you can do that manually or you can use the format painter if you would like either way 
it's it's the same thing so now what we're going to do is we're going to place our cursor right here at the end of the paragraph that we just inserted and we're going to select references right because we just took this paragraph off of a web page so this is in our paragraph that we typed out ourselves right that we came up with in our own mind so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to give some credit right so we're gonna have to reference it and so what we're gonna do here is we're going to make we're gonna make sure first off that our style is APA right there and then we're gonna click insert citation right there in the middle so we're inserting the citation we're gonna add a new source and the type is going to be website so if it doesn't come right up the website is is further down the list there right after report we're going to click on that that'll change the uh, the fields that we're going to have to enter right the kind of information we're going to have to enter in for a website citation and so we're, i'm going to go ahead and work on this and then i'll get back to you okay so now we're back right so i just filled out a bunch of information a couple of things to remember this is the corporate author okay so that you have to select that checkbox there and, and uh, fill out the corporate author. Uh, something else, else to look at is you may need to select this, this right here, this checkbox here, which will give you the option to include the year accessed, month access, and day access. So that's going to open that up as well. Then we've got our URL. You can just copy and paste that from um, the website that you opened as well. So that kind of helps shortcut that process a little bit. Then we're gonna click OK. You see right here it adds that citation right at the end of that paragraph. Now we're gonna to move to the beginning of our paragraph or of our document. We're gonna put our uh, spacing right before the first paragraph, which uh, starts with the summer provides. And then we're gonna hit enter. So we wanna we wanna create a little space here. We can we can create a tab there too if, if we want to. Now what it says in the book is it wants us to backspace, right? So we're going to put our move our cursor up back to this row and we're going to backspace once. That gives rid of the indent there. And then we're going to we're going to select heading 2, which is back on the home page. Heading 2 is right here. And then we're going to enter introduction. Now we're going to move down here with Hell's Canyon North Americas right here. We're going to do that again. Need to reestablish that indent for that paragraph. Move back up to the to the prior one, right where we started at, and backspace, which will move us back. And then we're going to enter in U.S. Forestry Service. Now I skipped a step, right? So as we put that in, we actually need to format that. So I can go ahead and select it, and I'm going to format that to heading two as well. And then the last thing we're going to do. So we're going to move to the uh, beginning of page two and that's right here so that's actually page two right because we have a title page so that's page one page two is there and we are going to do a um, the reference page again here references tab we're going to select table of contents which is over here to the left and we are going to select from that drop down automatic table two so we see that it's it's put in right there. Then we're going to hit Control Enter on our keyboard, and that will put a page break in that we can see here if we have our formatting shown. Uh, and then there's our table of contents that just appeared. So so one thing about this assignment. So starting at this point, starting with 24 or 25 actually, starting with 25, uh, there's some work that is not included right because we don't have that image so we're gonna go ahead and just say we're done at this point with the assignment so don't worry about steps 25 through 29 so go ahead and you can save this make sure it's saved and go ahead and upload it into canvas under the student checkup word 2-2 thanks we'll see you later mm -hmm.